Always have it up there, just in case you want to check your work. So, um, are given two points, and they want us to find the equation of the line in the form of y equals mx plus b. Alright, well, remember m represents our slope, and b represents our y-intercept. Now, the problem with this is just giving us two points, we don't know what the slope is, nor do we know what the y-intercept is. So I'm going to solve this. Yes? I thought we were doing that. Oh, never mind. It's the same thing. Sorry. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to figure out what the slope is. So the method I'm going to use is using the slope formula and then to use the slope-intercept form of the equation. So to use the slope uh, formula, I can say y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Because remember, slope formula is the change in y over the change in x's. Well, what is my y1 and what is my y2? Well, remember, every point has an x and a y coordinate. Right? Every point has an x and a y coordinate. Well, we need to distinguish our x's and we need to distinguish between our two y's. So I'll label this one 1 and this one 2. That one y and this one 2. It doesn't matter which one you label 1 and 2. It doesn't. All right, so now I'm just going to plug them in to find m. So I say y2 is 3 minus a negative 1 all over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 4. So 3 minus a negative 3, the double negative, which is 6, over 2 minus 4, which is a negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2 is a negative 3. Okay? Then, guys, now I know what my slope is. So I can say y equals a negative 3x plus b. However, I still have not figured out what my y-intercept is. I'm still interested in what is my y-intercept. Well, the only other thing I know is, look at, remember when I wrote these down as x's and y's? Forget about the 1's and the 2's. Don't let those confuse you. We only use those 1's and 2's so we can use them in the formula. But each one of these points <laughs> represents a point on the line. Therefore, I can plug them in for my x and y in my equation to find the y-intercept. So it doesn't matter which one you want to pick. Let's pick the second one. So I'll plug in 3 in for y equals negative 3 times 2 plus b. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. Then, now, I need to solve for b. I have to find the value of b so I can finish writing the equation. Well, I have negative 6 plus b. That's the same thing as subtracting a 6. So to get rid of that 6, I need to add the 6 on both sides. So I get 9 equals b. So therefore, if you guys notice, I have now solved. I have now found the value of m, which is negative 3, and found the value of b, which is 9. So since I know the value of b and I know the value of m, I can now write my equation in slope-intercept form. Ta-da! Make sense now? Yay! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 yeah.